We're going to do this inside. Or she's got it outside. Go ahead and put your stuff. I'll just have to tell my stuff inside. Just keep looking at me, and I'm just like, this is going to be beautiful. Smile. Because you're all beautiful. You're very kind. You're very kind. Thank you. No, I'm just honest. Wilf is alive and well. There we go. That's the... Hi, well, we're meeting tonight. We are the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom, Des Moines branch, and our whole, all of Wilf, our whole section is a partner in the Poor People's Campaign. We had people go to the June 20th, 2020 rally, and now we're getting ready for June 18th, 2020, and that's going to be our moral march on Washington and to the polls. So we're looking forward to that. Our democracy and our voting rights are under attack, and it wasn't that long ago that blacks got the opportunity to vote. It's in the, my lifetime that's happened, so uh, it makes a difference, and I think we all have to fight our uh, way of living, and democracy is definitely at stake, and we're supposed to be the leaders. While the U.S. economy grew 18-fold in past 50 years, wealth inequality expanded. Cost of living increased, and social programs continue to diminish. The poor are the victims and have no resources for adequate health care or protection or recovery from health crises or from extreme weather events. The story is very personal and goes back 55 years to when Martin Luther King spoke his uh, uh, Beyond Vietnam speech at Riverside Church exactly one year before he was assassinated. I was in the audience that night and was extremely moved. King's voice was a voice in the wilderness, but he's also created an enormous legacy. What he did was bring intersectionality and fusion, which are uh, components of the campaign today, into the picture with that Vietnam speech. Before that, it had been mostly race and poverty oriented, and he brought all the elements together. And fortunately, Dr. Barber, 50 years later, brought it together with today's uh, Poor People's Campaign, added the environmental issue, and we're taking it forward from there. So this is a, a 50, 60 year journey that we're on, and it will go forward until, until, until. Us women getting together, mobilizing, if all of us get together and support the Poor People's Campaign, we can make a definite inroad regarding and have a voice for voting rights, which definitely uh, supports poor people, all of us, <laughs> not only poor people, but all of us, and our uh, ideals, why America was born.